Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will walk you through how to use Yodak, which is a powerful digital Synage platform that helps you manage content across multiple screens easily. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. If you don't have a Yodak account yet, you can just use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on the latest offers. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, simply click on the link that is given in the description or you can also open your web browser and search for yodak.com. Now once you search for yodak.com, you will be landed here on their official website that will say the easiest way to share content on screens now over here getting started with them is also very easy you need to first of all click on the get started option in the top right hand corner of the screen then you can sign up here with the help of your email address and by creating a strong password of your account now once you are inside your yodak dashboard it should look something like this this is your welcome screen and here you can see the prompt to add a screen. It is the first step to display your content. On the left hand side, you will see the main sections like the dashboard, media, apps, playlists, layouts, schedules, screens and more. So this is where you will manage everything that is related to your digital signage setup. So to start using your deck, you need to first of all click on this add a screen option. Now, this is where you set up your first display either by connecting a Yodak player or by testing with a web browser player for the preview purposes. So here, let's say I want to do it with the help of the web browser. So I'm going to be clicking over here. Once added, your screen will appear under the screens tab on the sidebar. And you can rename the screen, assign the content and monitor its status from here. If you have selected web browser, you need to allow certain permissions and you can also uh, read through it how you can get a registration code. If you select the second option of adding it to your screen, it is going to show you uh, to choose the player type. So you can choose any one of these and you can add it over here. Next, if you click on this media section in the sidebar, you can choose from various types of options like images, videos, documents, web pages, etc. So you can basically upload the files directly or pick from the stock assets here. For example, let's say if I click on the option of images and here if I want to add something like if I want to add image, you can click over here, select the option of stock image and search for any keyword and then click on the search option. Over here, it is going to show you all of the images relating to the keyword that you have entered. So you can select any one of these and click on the select option. So this media will be available later when you build your playlist. Now. Uh, your deck also offers you the built-in applications. So these are basically mini tools that you can add your screens like clocks, weathers, new tickers, calendars and social feeds. So here if we click on the apps option, you are going to see the create app option over here. So simply click on the create apps option and it is going to show you all of the applications that are available here. First of all, you can customize the settings such as the time zone, city or the branding and then you can save it or you can also basically just take a look at the application that you want and after that simply click on that application and you can add it here in your board. Now, if you go to the playlist section here in the left hand section and click on the option of add playlist. It is going to give you this type of pop-up where you can select classic, tag based from the Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. So let's say I want a classic playlist and then click on the option of add. Now you can give your playlist a name and the description. 
you can also drag and drop your media and applications into it you can rearrange the order and set the duration for each item for example you can show an image of 10 seconds or a video for 30 seconds this will let you build a content loop that auto plays on your screens now if we click on the layout option here in the left hand section it is going to give you this type of page so it is like zones on your screen you can click on the add layout option over here and now you can choose any one of the templates that is presented here or you can also click on the option of create new layout now it is going to show you the screen that should look something like this over here you can split the screen into different regions like one for video and another for time and another for news and this is ideal if you want multiple things running together on a single display with the help of this section you can give it a name select the resolution uh, add the background audio if you want to once you are done with the layout simply click on the save option in the top right hand corner of the screen now to automate your content you can use their schedules tab in the left hand section you can click on the option of add schedule then assign the playlist to the specific times and days for example you can show a different playlist in the morning or in the evening so this is useful for businesses that want to automate promotions menus or the announcements so once your screen is added and the content is ready you can simply go to the screens tab over here and choose your device you can click on the add screen option or push to screens option here in the top right hand corner of the screen and your deck will send the playlist or the layout to your display and you will see the real time updates of it you can also monitor the device health reboot players and check playback reports from here now you can also explore the dashboard for a quick view of your screens and the status alerts you can then use reports section to track what played when it played and on which screen the knowledge hub is going to give you the option of uh, the tips and the onboarding materials and don't forget to, that you can manage multiple users and roles if you are running a team so that was a complete walkthrough of how you can get started with your in 2025 in my opinion it is powerful super uh, intuitive and works well for the businesses schools restaurants or anyone who is looking to run professional displays so if you have found this video helpful, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss our future tutorials and review videos. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.